This video will demonstrate how to configure your computer as well as set your Muto ValueJet printer up on a standard network on Windows 10. Please note that your operating system, network, and printer control panel may vary from what is shown in this video. Also please note that each Muto ValueJet printer from factory comes with the default IP address of 192.168.001.253. And the default subnet mask of 255 255 255 000. Before we begin, we first need to verify that both the Muto ValueJet printer as well as the computer are plugged in on the network. Once this has been verified, then we can go ahead and move on to making sure that our computer is properly configured. To check our network settings on our computer, we need to locate the Network and Sharing Center. Start off with going to your Windows icon, and in the search engine on the bottom left corner, type in Network and Sharing Center. You'll see the Network and Sharing Center link appear towards the upper portion of the window. Go ahead and click on that to open the window. Once the Network and Sharing Center window opens up, locate your Ethernet port and go ahead and click on it. Once you have your Ethernet status window open, locate Properties in the lower left and click on it. In here, we need to locate our Internet Protocol version 4, highlight it, and then click on Properties. With the Properties window open, we can see that our computer is not configured correctly because when running on a standard network, we want to obtain the IP address automatically. Go ahead and set the computer to obtain the IP address automatically, as well as make sure the Obtain DNS Server address automatically is checked, then click OK. Close out of the Ethernet Properties window, but before we close the Ethernet Status window, let's go ahead and take a look in details. In here, locate the IPv4 address. The first three sets of numbers of this address is going to be important and you're going to want to write those numbers down. That is your network range. The fourth set are the numbers that we are going to assign. In this case, we're not going to want to use 165 because it's already being used. This is also a good time to take note of the subnet mask as we will need to input this into our printer later on. We can now go ahead and close the details window as well as the ethernet status window and because I'm done in here I'm going to go ahead and close the network and sharing center. Now that we have properly configured our computer for a standard network we need to verify whether or not the IP address we wish to assign is open on the network. To do that we need to get into our command window. To get to your command window, start off by going again to your Windows Start menu. And in the search engine, type the letters CMD followed by the enter key. This will open up your command window. The easiest way to test whether an IP address has been assigned or not is to try pinging it. To ping the IP address, type the word ping, P-I-N-G, space, followed by the network range. And in this case, I'm going to try 251, followed by the enter key. As you can see, almost immediately we get a reply when we ping this IP address. This tells us that this IP address has already been assigned and we do not want to use it. So let's try another one. This time I'm going to try pinging 250. Now you can see that when we try pinging 250, we get a destination host unreachable. This means that this IP address has not yet been assigned and we can go ahead and use it to assign it to our Muto ValueJet printer. So now we are ready to head over to our printer and input the IP address. From the control panel of the printer, we want to locate IP address. Press the menu key one time, use your right arrow key into setup, and use the up arrow key until you find IP address. Once you see IP address, go ahead and press the enter key. Using your up and down arrow keys, change the IP address to the number that you wrote down while using your enter key to switch over to the next set of numbers. Once you have your IP address inputted into the control panel, press your enter key one last time to update the parameter. Now use your down arrow key to subnet mask and press the enter key. Change the subnet mask accordingly and press your enter key to update the parameter. And use your cancel key to back out of the menu. Now all you have to do is enter your IP address into your RIP software and you're ready to start printing. 